broadcasting live from Georgia State University's Main Street Entrepreneur's Seed Fund Demo Day at Center Park Stadium in downtown Atlanta. It's time for GSU E&I Radio. Now, here's your host. Lee Cantor here broadcasting live from Center Park Stadium. This is a very special day. It's demo day for cohort number four. I'm so excited to be talking to Risha Reed. She is e I's Associate Director. Welcome. Hey, thanks for having me. Well, um, for the people who don't know, can you just talk a little bit about Demo Day and why this is such a big deal here at GSU e and I? So, oh, no problem. So, we have a five month accelerator program, and we have 12 companies in that they can be a current Georgia State student or alumni or members of the Atlanta community. And we have workshops, we have intense conversations, coaching, mentorship, all of that to get our students to move or our founders to move their ideas forward. And so this day is a celebration and a graduation of that momentous um, journey that they've taken. And then this is cohort number four. Yes. You've been here since the I've very been, beginning here, since cohort no, one? Since last year. <laughs> last year. And then, but there, this is the fourth year that they've had this. Yes. And then. Has the program evolved any over the years? 100%. And so we have fluxed in terms of how many program companies are within the program. But this year we added a few things such as we added a mentorship program where we had three mentors assigned to each company. Wow. We also had out excursions within the Atlanta community. So we gave our founders the opportunity to meet with the Atlanta community, meet with investors, all of that to take the idea forward. So we did a a really big job in terms of adding on to their experience within the program. Now, for the entrepreneurs that take part in this, do they have to come to the program with a fully fleshed out idea that's already making money? Can it just be an idea? Like, like how can someone get involved? So to be a part of the program, you have to be have a little bit more than something written on a napkin. Right. Okay. But okay. at the same time, you don't have to have a first customer, anything like that. We go from customer discovery, teaching founders how to actually look at their customers, build towards what their customer needs are. And then we take it all the way to how do you actually create income for this idea that you're working on. And so we go the whole gamut in terms of building out that entrepreneurship journey for our founders. Now, in addition to the education that they're going to get and all the mentorship, is there money also? Yes. So this year, each company received $5,000 of non-dilutive fund- funding. That's which, just once you're in. Here's yes, the, once you're in. Here's yes. $5,000. Mm-hmm, here you are. So um, everybody should apply. Everyone <laughs> should apply. Exactly. Right? That's exactly. a no-brainer there. Right. And we get no cut out of it. So Georgia State hands us money to these founders and they do whatever they need to do in order to take their business forward with that funding. Now, here we are at Demo Day. What's going to happen in Demo Day? Oh, it's going to be fun. We have two concurrent live pitches happening. So one on service retail and one on product tech. um, And they're going on again um, simultaneously. We also have afterwards a showcase. And so everyone within the community who showed up today gets an opportunity to actually speak with our founders. And um, we have networking involved. So we have over 400 people signed up at the moment to attend today. And so we're looking forward to a fantastic, busy um, day. Now, at the end of the day, some somebody's going to win something, Oh, right? yes, yes. So with these live pitch competitions, we have first place award, we have second place award. And for each of these groups, they get their own um, awards. And we also have People's Choice. So everyone who shows up today can participate in choosing the People's Choice Award for the re- um, service retail and also for product tech. And then what it comes with this award other than the prestige of being a winner? Oh, cash. Cash. Always More cash. cash. Yes. <laughs> More cash. <laughs> and so our first place awardees get $6,000 each. And that um, this year is sponsored by FanDuel. We have a new sponsor um, sponsoring that award. Mm-hmm. Our second place awardees get $3,000 for their company. And then People's Choice, where everyone gets their um, to actually say who they want to win. Each group gets two, um, $250. Wow. So uh, there's a lot of reasons to be excited about today. Yes. And a lot of reasons to be involved and show up. And then, so for somebody who has never been part of this, never even attended, this is, you can, anybody can attend, Anyone. right? If you sign up, they, yes. you don't have to be a founder or a startup no. or anything like that. Just, you can take part of the day and celebration. Yes, yes. And uh, part of that, um, we've looked through our sign up. We have students from Georgia State. We have students from the surrounding 
Atlanta communities as well. We have investors coming in. We have industry uh, members of industry coming in. We have parents, siblings, <laughs> right, cousins. And so everyone can show up today and actually see what Joy State is doing in terms of entrepreneurship. And then entre- uh, the entrepreneur community here at Georgia State, but not only that, um, all of Atlanta. This is part of Innov ATL. Innov ATL, yes. Um, can you talk a little bit about that and how a GSU fits into that? No problem. And so for several years, we have this major event um, that's called Venture Atlanta. And that normally happens where a um, number of persons come in toward, uh, come into Atlanta and actually be a part of that um, conference. And so we t- thought to, um, we have a steering committee, all of that, that came together to actually build out a more robust program. And so part of that, um, we have around 20 events or more that's part of InnovATL. And one of those is um, University Week. And so this week is University Week and Thursday, this is one of the biggest events that's happening during University Week that we get um, members of the community to actually see what Atlanta is doing and Georgia is doing in terms of entrepreneurship. Now, this is um, brought to us by the Main Street Entrepreneur Seed Fund. Yes. Uh-huh. And Main Street, in a, that word was chosen. Yes, for a specific right, for reason. A specific reason. Can you yeah. talk a little bit about um, why Main Street and what the meaning behind it is and why it's so important as part of the ecosystem here in Atlanta? No problem. And so oftentimes when we think about entrepreneurs, um, lately, at least the last 10 years, we tend to think of tech um, when we think about entrepreneurs. And that's not the full gamut of what an entrepreneur is. Entrepreneur is any um, An entrepreneur is anyone who is starting a company, a business, from scratch. And so we have, um, we chose the, main, the name Main Street because we want to celebrate and we want to help um, founders that may not necessarily be in tech space, but they may be looking at brick and mortar. They may be looking at fashion, whatever it is that someone is trying to start or aim is to help them do it and do it well. Right. Because back in the day, technology was technology and now every business right. is a technology exactly. firm and some, right? Exactly. They're using tech exactly. in some way. Exactly. So why exclude anybody? Exactly. Now, um, like you said, you've been here a year now. Um, what do you think the ecosystem needs more of? And um, where do you think your kind of impact is going to be in growing the community? No problem. So one of what we're doing here at Main Street, I think, is going to um, is making an impact. Right. Because we are one of the few um, accelerators within Georgia that focuses on Main Street companies. A lot of the incubators around, a lot of the accelerators around are focused on tech related companies. And so we're making our mark in that arena. And so we, I see us doing more of that and growing this program that we can help other um, founders who are not able to find their home at another venue or another um, company, but we can actually help them right here at Georgia State. So if somebody wants to learn more about what's happening uh, at the ENI program or GSU altogether, what's the best website for them to go to to plug in? No problem. So you can find us at eni.gsu.edu. So simple, eni.gsu.edu. Good stuff. Well, thank you so much for doing what you do. You're doing important work and we appreciate you. Thank you. All right. This is Lee Cantor. We'll be back in a few at GSU ENI Radio.